Sees crazy crossroads. We're looking for the ghost. We're looking for the ghost. What do you mean? You don't want to be one of the eternal ghosts. Stick together. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's Chris with another one of my crazy crossroads coming to you. Um, guys, I've been off for a little bit again. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, my wife was away. She was doing some traveling. Um, then I had a couple of obligations doing some other stuff. Um, so I'm back. And uh, while I was away, I was watching Crazy Joe and Crazy Rob. And they came to this abandoned rock quarry or whatever this place is. And... So, uh, Joe told me I shouldn't come out here, but I decided why not? I have to come. I got to do something. You know, it's about an hour from the house, nothing too crazy. So, um, I have to do something. I have to shoot a little video for everybody out there. So, here I am. I, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Melissa Williams from Delaware. She, uh, she was the highest bidder on the camera and t-shirt so it's out in the mail melissa uh, hopefully by the time you see this either you'll be receiving it or you'll already have it so thank you again love you love everybody that was interested in that it was a great idea thank you again for that um with that being said guys i'm here i'm outside joe told me there was a um a little trailer inside there and um i don't have my mask and i'm not going in there because uh it smells out here i can't imagine what it smells like in there so guys i hope you I hope you'll give me a little pass on this one, okay? Love you guys, but I'm going right to it. Let's see what we can do. Doobie, doobie doo. <sighs> Feels good, guys. Feels good to be out. It's a nice night. It's not too crazy hot. I'm just gonna kinda check this place around. I love these little crates, storage crates or whatever they are. It makes you wonder what might be in there. Now I apologize, I don't know much about this place other than the um, directions to get here. And it looks like an old quarry or... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, like these little areas here where they might store stone or rock. So, uh, might have been like a little rock quarry. Yeah. has water hooked up to here so this could have been an area where they might have stored mulch maybe with some makeshift sprinkler system keeping it wet or it could have just been some rock as well guys the craziest thing is there's some really strange animal noises out here. <laughs> I'm sure they're just dog. Maybe some... Yeah, it sounded like I heard something, something rustling. Okay. So, here's that trailer, guys. Joe said he went in. 
Um, he said he had his mask on and he still couldn't hardly breathe, so. I don't have my mask, but I mean, I could. Ooh, it looked like somebody's in there. It's just my light reflecting. It's a little walkway here. I'll just kind of. It's not going full. Okay. What the hell is that? Scared that living shit out of me. You know what? I'm not going to go venturing in, right? So I say. Okay. So, I definitely have to at least hold my breath and, and go through there, make sure there's nobody in here. So... Uh, there's definitely nobody in there, guys. Maybe I don't have to go in. It's a very small trailer. Let me just kind of sneak in. Oh, it, it does smell bad, guys. Just gonna check real fast. Oh. 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 Hello? Why is this locked? I don't want somebody must have locked it from the inside. Okay, I'm good with that. That's strange. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh God. He was not kidding. That place is nasty. Ugh. All right, there's like, there's a fence line right over here. But I'm gonna make my way back around and see, cause it sounds like, sounds like there's something over there. smelled so bad. Alright guys. <clears throat> so this place is like Literally in the middle of nowhere. Hey, somebody back there? Hey guys, yo, what the fuck? 
Yo, yo. Yo, yo, you guys okay? All right, so look at this. This is friggin' awesome. Just heard a whistle. Okay, I have a feeling there's people over there, guys. Um, here's the thing. The only... There's a lot of open woods here, so... Sound carries. But man, that was a distinctive whistle. I really want to check this out, guys. This is pretty cool. So I guess this is where they might have crushed rock. Came down this little conveyor. That thing is awesome. Into this chute and then distributed wherever. Look at that. I mean, guys, this flashlight is lighting this place up like you wouldn't believe. I don't see a single person. But there's this fence line. It's, it's like we're completely... Uh... Locked in. Okay. Um... I am not going to lie to you. The whistles. Something, something just fell out. The whistling scared the daylights out of me. Okay. What the hell was that? So cool seeing the mechanics of all of this. Excuse me, guys. I wonder how long this place has been down because this is, I mean, it's not really corroded. I mean, those fuses look to be in decent shape. To be honest, outside of the smell in that trailer that I ran through, you know, it doesn't seem like it's been sitting terribly long. I know what this is. Stuff is so cool. I know it's just a big fuse box, but 
I'm a big kid. Here's a... Oh, wow, look at this. So this is the conveyor. Oh. This thing moving. I have a really, really, really freaky feeling here. So, a lot of times, a lot of questions that people ask me is, um, do I feel like um, anything follows me home, or do I feel like there's anything paranormal? Um, the times I, I do feel stuff, it's like there's a feeling. I get this little feeling. It's a strange feeling. Um, I don't have that feeling right now, but I do have a very uneasy feeling, as if to say, like, um, the whistling in those voices definitely um, have me on edge here. So I'm just going to kind of take it nice and slow and try and enjoy as much of this mechanics as, mechanics as I can. Fuck. All right, I'm getting I'm 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 going to just continue what I'm doing, guys, but this uh this is uh yeah. This is strange. All right. I have a lot of thoughts going through my head right now, guys. And uh, the biggest thing with me has been safety. So. <laughs> I hope there's not some freaking evil spirit or whatever the hell we want to call these stupid things that is strong enough to knock this big silo down because that would hurt. Honestly, though, wow, that was too weird. I got to go look at this thing again. Honestly, though, this is a, it's a very, um, weird feeling. Just going to sit here for a minute, guys. You know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to kind of talk to you for a bit. And uh, keep this behind us. Um, so this, this month has been busy just like the last month. And uh, fortunately, um, everybody's doing good health-wise, you know with my immediate family. My, uh, my ex-wife is, you know, she's staying positive. She's uh, got a long road ahead of her, but thank you again, guys, for all the prayers. Um, my family greatly, greatly appreciates it. And um, I have been Mr. Mom for the past week, which was, which was a blast. I enjoyed it, but um, Amelia was ready for her mom. 
to be home. Then uh, we had a little weekend getaway. Some of you might have seen the, uh, the live video I thought I'd bring to you and sharing some of our fun. I hope you guys enjoy that because uh, that's fun for us to do. Um, Sounds like there's a frog or something walking around here. Um, then I had a little thing, a little comedy uh, getaway. And then this week I plan on getting, obviously, this video out. Hopefully maybe one more. Then I'll be heading to Vegas. Um, as you guys may know, um, may or may not know, Joe and Rob are going to go see Joe's kids in Chicago. Um, so it's a little bit, it's a month behind the original plan, but it's, it's the only way that it could, uh, it could happen. And that's the most important thing that Joe gets to go see those cute little boys. Um, I wish I can go too and see them, but, um, every year I do go to Vegas, um, and uh, I'm there with a buddy of mine. Excuse me. So uh, we were going to do we were going to do some shooting there, but we're gonna have to push that off for another time. But just stay close to your um, Twitter and all that good stuff. I'll let you guys know kind of where I'm at, and hopefully I can meet a few of you that are in that area. Wanted to give you a little, little rundown, guys. I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, but just figured I'd catch up as much as I can. Okay, so this thing has not moved again, so. intrigued up here. There's definitely a lot of noise. I hope this isn't too shaky guys. I'm sorry I'm switching hands and moving a lot and Hear that? Battery's dying. I don't want to move. I don't want to go too far. Hear it? The only thing that I can think of with those voices is on this side here is that it's possibly carrying because I can hear some road noise in that highways a really really good distance away Thank you. 
Ah. Oh my gosh. All right, that's a cow. <laughs> uh, there's nothing funnier than hearing farm noises. Yeah, I'm enjoying this place actually. Oh, what's going on, man? Oh, I zoomed out, guys. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Okay, so the reason why this camera always is in and out, it's very touchy. This lens, dang it. And I always try to adjust it throughout the shoot. It doesn't have the auto zoom and all that good stuff, so. Um, whenever I'm holding the bottom of the camera, my finger, when I turn, rubs against the bottom of the lens. So sometimes it zooms out, zooms in, whatever. Anyway, I don't claim to be a professional photog. Um, I don't claim to be much, except for uh, just stupid to come out to these places. This place is really freaky, but I'm enjoying it, actually. I like being outside. I like that it's cooler. Um, that stupid thing freaked me out for sure. Um, could have been something on, on my foot or I don't, I don't even know. I really wasn't paying much attention to it. Um, I love seeing all this old uh, factory equipment and stuff. It's just really cool. Really cool. I, I matter of fact, I checked out... I like checking out like... Um, um, Ashley Godwin's channel because she's always out and she does a lot of Urbex stuff. I really want to start getting into that too. I know Joe and Rob were talking about getting into more of that. Um, but seeing all that old uh, land and old property and all that good stuff, it's just so cool, man. If you would have told me 15 years ago that I'd have any interest in doing that, I'd tell you you're absolutely crazy because I could care less. But now it's just I have a different outlook on everything and... Uh, I just really enjoy it. But here we are, guys. We're just about done. Um, nice, easy night. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. Um, I think we are working on getting something together here. And if I can get it together before I leave for Vegas, it would really be great. Um, it's not that easy. Uh, I've been trying to get into this place for uh, about easily three or four weeks now um so we can get in there it'll be fantastic you guys will love it um i know it'll be crazy i, I know if we do get in it might just be a one night thing a two night thing um however but uh fingers crossed hopefully we can get into that but uh again guys um if you do not see me uh for a little bit of time i'll probably come to come live with a couple things maybe out in vegas um I'll be from, uh, I'm doing Vegas from 25th to 28th, and then 28th to the 30th, I'll be in Denver, Colorado. Um, so when I'm out in Denver, I might actually go live and bring you guys uh, along with me to check out some of my uh, my sister and my brother-in-law's um, property. They actually have, they have, uh, they have 
a nice ranch that they started last year and they have a bunch of cattle now and chickens and all that good stuff and my sister's horse so let me know if you guys are interested in coming along with that i hope i don't bore you if i do start doing that but i want to just even when i'm not able to get out and do things um maybe just bring you along in a, a day in the life of oh okay we're back it went off for a second but anyway i don't know how exciting it is but nonetheless uh I don't mind bringing it to you when I can, so uh, just kind of sharing some of the good times if you guys are cool with that. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. I'm at 30 minutes. This was a great night. Nice night. Thank goodness nothing too crazy. Just uh, a little freaky. Definitely some, sounds like people. Um, and now the more I think about it, there's the bathrooms locked. I, I had to get locked on the inside. This little uh, electrical box here like i said maybe something i don't know i have to watch it back so um guys please check out all my merchandise all the good stuff down below in the description um don't forget we got those cameos too uh we got some any birthdays anything like that coming up hit me up for a cameo i love doing those guys that makes my day um everything else the olight don't forget to check out the olight i got a new uh they've got a new one they're sending me so we're gonna be uh I guess doing some kind of flash sale after they send that. So if you guys are in the market for a flashlight, be on the lookout, it's saving some big money. If you do want a flashlight now, you can go to the description down below. Triple C is the promo code. They always give you a discount with that as well. But with all that being said, guys, it's great to be back. I love you all, and we'll see you next time. Peace.